Hey YouTube, good evening, good morning, good day, good afternoon, wherever you are, wherever you may be. Uh, this is a vampire again. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, yeah, little update on the bike. Um, yeah, I took care of the seam lines, sanded them off and stuff like over there and there and on the. F Come on, you. F Damn it. <coughs> Sorry, I've been sick as well. Uh, yep, and there on the front. Um, I've got this paint from Humbro. It's a clear coat. Humbro clear color. It is the exact, it's not the exact same, but I think that would look a little bit better, but, you know, for the front, for the side of the tank, I think this color would actually look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to touch up these parts, and I will be back in, I don't know, however long this paint, the paint takes to dry. And then, yes, just a couple of things on this build. Um, the little parts that goes in here, they are really, really tiny. And I did not have a set of tweezers before now. <clears throat> and the other day when I cleaned up, I accidentally uh, got rid of the little foot pegs. The, no, no, not the foot pegs. The, uh, um, this is the brake. I don't. I can't remember what's supposed to come in there, but there's something else that was supposed to come there, but that disappeared while I was cleaning as well. This is why I don't clean my workbench very often because things go missing when I do clean. So yeah. <coughs> mm, excuse me. And on this side as well. The parts that goes in here, I mean. They're just so tiny on these 124th scale motorbikes. And I accidentally lost that one as well. So I was thinking that maybe I could just do something with a piece of um, solder wire. Let's see if I can melt that together and form it into a little peg that goes in there. So I'll be doing that as well. And yes, further it's a it's a little fun build, but the pieces are just so small and fiddly, and I've got really big, got thick fat fingers. <coughs> yes. Oh, and also, when you do build yourself one of these twenty-four scale motorbike kits, um, before you do anything else, get in the kickstand, the stand, just the whole frame, just pulls apart right in the middle there and you then you snap it back together and you have that stand there because otherwise it will not work that way and your exhaust pipes as well also um, fit them on the engine and over here because that's where they connect right there on those four points and glue them in place over here at the connections Trust me, it will be easier to fit them later on. Um, yeah. But anyway, so that's a quick update of the 750CB. Um, I'm going to get to painting this now, because I said I would. And I can't let you guys down. Also, I need to get rid of that one seam line over there as well. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to repaint the whole bike in one color. And it will be this umbral red and a flat aluminium from Tamiya because I got a couple of new paints and so now I can paint again yay yeah. okay so I will be back as soon as this bike has been completed and um, yeah Hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like, if you did. If you don't, thumbs down. Either way, if you are going to be a troll or be nasty, you're just going to get ignored either way. So, hey, have fun. I'll also be doing... I might as well do that right now. <coughs> yes. The big reveal almost for the... Uh, we get it. The 1970... Plymouth Cuda. Yes, I've been building this bad boy. 
Oh yes, and he is right over here on my left, right. Yes. Right there, right there, yeah. But anyway, I went for the custom version. <clears throat> but what I did is I used the stock front grow on the custom version and it looks pretty damn good. We just get the body, put the box down, stand, okay. Here is the chassis of the 1970s Cuda. It is done with a Molotov crimp in one millimeter, which is a challenge to learn how to work it because one little screw up or touch does that what it's doing right on the steering wheel right there, but it's easily touchable. Up touchable, uh, touch it up, or fix it, whatever. Yeah, it's cold, my brain is not braining. But yeah, there is the engine and the motor. It all came out very nicely once you get the hang of using this pin. It is just awesome. And the underside as well. Yeah, so. I need to fix that spot there as well. But I will be doing a complete update video on this build when I'm completely done with it because I still got some spots where some glue jobs. I don't know how they got there. But yeah, magic I suppose. But yes. And here is the body. Also with the trimmings done in Molotov Chrome Pen. But yeah, I need to sand this one time down more one more time. Also added the uh, Hemi logo at the back and covered that up with a coat of blue metal, clear blue metal. So yeah, I'm almost done with this bad boy. And there is the front. That's the stock front grill that I put in there. I just think that looks way much way better than the original the custom one I mean that is the ultimate that is a Cuda right there that not so much for me I mean I am South African and there's just certain things on custom cars that you do not change especially on the Cuda the front grill you keep that that makes it look so much better in my opinion but yeah so that is the update on the bike and um, yes I will also be digging into uh, I just got so much stuff now to move around my god yeah help yeah. <coughs> okay I've also gotten in this baby the full 68 Pontiac Firebird, which I will also be doing a build on. And then this little baby, the 1965 Chevy Impala now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna finesse this one really good. So keep an eye on my channel. Like and subscribe if you like, if you don't, I don't care. Um, yeah, and um, that's it, I'm back. Talk to you guys later.